Hey, do you want to learn how to add a table of contents to your Word document? Let's dive right in and have a look. But before you do, hit the subscribe, share, like button. It really helps me with engagement. Looking forward to it. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents. This is very useful if you're creating a, a large document, uh, and it involves kind of two processes. This one follows on from a recent video that I also did on how to add some lorem ipsum text to your uh, Word document. So I'm going to start off with a document already with some lorem ipsum text in there. If you're not sure what that is, check out my lorem ipsum uh, video and that will give you a background on how to get this kind of text in there. But this process works with any type of document. Don't worry, you don't need to have lorem ipsum text in there. That's just placeholder stuff. Let's dive right in. So here you see I have my lorem ipsum text and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, tab down there a little bit and I'm going to put in just some headings. So I'm going to call this heading one and I'm going to write like this, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to go here. I'm within the home tab on my on my ribbon and I'm just going to hit heading one. So it changes it to a heading. What this does, and unfortunately this only works on the PC version, it lets you create collapsible headings, which is a really nice feature. So just to flesh out my document a little bit, I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to press Control C on my PC and I'm just going to enter and go. Control V to paste it. I'm going to get these two. And what I'm doing here at the moment, I'm just fleshing out my document just with some text so that we can see this process. So I'm just going to go headings, 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 headings. So you can see down now. I have a document now of six pages with 2,112 words. So Let's say now I want to make this uh, a nice document. Maybe I'm making it into like a, a book for students or it's a report at school or a report at work and I want to uh, improve the style of things. So I'm just going to click here at my first heading and I'm going to go along my ribbon here to where it says reference and right away first option here table of contents. Now you have a whole bunch of options and we look at those options in more detail in subsequent videos, but for the time being, let's just do a simple automatic table one, hit it there, and voila, there you go. You have your table of contents created as simple as that. So thank you very much for watching. I look forward to creating more content for you in the future and hearing from you in the comments. Thank you very much.